Red Bull Chief Christian Horner has revealed more details about that night in Abu Dhabi while also discussing the genuine value in F1 and its financial future. Christian Horner has spoken of how he was battling against Mercedes lawyers while sticky with champagne after the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix last season. The Red Bull boss gave more insight into the hours after the end of the race, during which the furious Silver Arrows tried to deny Max Verstappen the world title through protests the Ferrari all began when F1 race director Michael Massey gave the order for the safety car to come in ahead of the final lap of the race, by doing so he had fast-tracked the process, giving the chance for the title to be decided in racing conditions rather than as a procession, with Lewis Hamilton at the front. It presented a chance for Verstappen to have one last crack at overtaking to become world champion for the first time, and he did exactly that, aided by the fact he had much fresher and softer tires and Hamilton was powerless to defend the place on his older, more worn rubber. Mercedes chief Toto Wolff was enraged and made his feelings clear over team radio, and within minutes of the end of the race official protests had been launched as the Silver Arrows felt the sporting regulations had been broken. Over the next few hours, bosses from both teams argued their cases in front of the stewards. Mercedes were helped by the fact they had pre-empted the possibility of controversy and brought a QC with them to the track. Red Bull bosses, who did not have a lawyer present, had to put their celebrations on hold and take part in those proceedings. Speaking about that night, Horner revealed what it had been like to have to go from celebrating a title victory to arguing over sporting regulations. Within half an hour you're sitting in front of a barrister and the race stewards, he told the Mail on Sunday, you're in there, sticky with champagne against a top QC, even now, two months on and following the replacement of Masi as race director, the events of that night in Abu Dhabi remain a hot topic of debate for fans. And it is set to stay that way, with the latest season of Netflix's Drive to Survive docudrama coming out on March 11. The show is certain to give more inside footage of what happened, and bring the whole incident right back to the front of everyone's minds in the week building up to the 2022 season opener in Bahrain. While the sport's competitive integrity has been called into question, what is certain is that the whole drama has given F1's profile a huge boost.